never was able to get music through the Goldwing, through the audio system. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Goldwing. Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel, the channel for everything Honda Goldwing, DIY tips and tricks, motor vlogs, and of course, accessory installation videos and review videos too. If you are passionate about the Honda Goldwing or motorcycling in general, I would appreciate it if you'd click on that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. My face mask is fogging up, so let me crack it open a little bit. 55 degrees this morning in Plano, Texas. I'm on my way to Cardo Systems. A little bit different route for me this morning from what my usual motor vlog. So I'm heading over to Cardo to have them check out these two uh, Cardo Pack Talk Bold headsets. Some of you may remember if you watched my motor vlog from uh, Wingding, when Ricky and I rode to Wingding, I was having some issues getting uh, instructions from my GPS being able to communicate with my passenger and being able to get audio from the Goldwing. So for the first day, I didn't get any audio from the Goldwing. I was able to get all my GPS instructions through the headset. I was able to get uh, have a good intercom through the headset, but I wasn't able to get the Goldwing audio. And then on the second day, I tried turning off one of the things on the GPS, the media player. And for a day and a half, everything worked perfectly. I was able to get audio from the Goldwing and GPS instructions and intercom. So I know it's possible. I know it can work because it did work for a day and a half. But then uh, on about the third or fourth day, I did exactly the same thing. Turned off the media player on the GPS, even though I don't listen to, I don't use this for, as a media player. I never use this for media, like MP3 files or anything like that. And uh, for the rest of the trip, it just didn't work. Never was able to get music through the Goldwing, through the audio system. So I'm on my way to Cardo to see if they can help me uh, find a solution to this. I'm going to let them reprogram everything maybe and I will videotape what they do and pass that information along to you. I know several of you have sent me messages asking me about uh, you know, what the solution was to my Pack Talk Bold issues and hopefully today we will find out. But I, it, again, it's 55 degrees this morning, which I think is perfect riding weather. It's just beautiful. No wind. I've actually got my liner on underneath my Olympia Air Glide jacket, which is really a summer riding jacket. But when you put the liner on underneath it, and I have a long sleeve shirt on as well, you, know, you can easily go down to, I'd say 46, 47 degrees pretty comfortably. So for Texas, uh, this, or for our part of Texas here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, this Air Glide jacket is almost a year-long riding jacket. There's only a couple of times it might get cold enough, like in the low 40s, high 30s, where I might wear a heavier jacket that's not a mesh jacket. I have another Olympia jacket that's like a three-quarter jacket that is not mesh it's uh, just cordura and it blocks out the wind a little better than this one and it's a longer jacket and that's kind of my cold weather jacket even though i don't really don't wear it that much but if i take a trip where i know i'm going to be in the mountains or riding in cold climates colder climates i will take that olympia three-quarter jacket with me i can't remember the name of the jacket 
Also today, I am testing out some new gloves I got from uh, Kimimoto. You can see these. They sent me a couple of pairs to review and try. And I will uh, kind of review these for you probably in my next motor vlog because I, I want to try different sizes and try a few things before I talk about them. But I am testing them out this morning since it's a little cool. These are winter riding gloves. I wouldn't call them summer gloves. They're pretty well insulated. So I will uh, update you on that. I've got some other uh, accessory and product videos coming up in the near future. A lot of you have been asking me about the Kison uh, Path Blazer, which is the headlight modulator for the Goldwing for the 2018. Of course, I installed and reviewed Kison products on my 2007 and 2012 Goldwing. Always had very good luck with Kison products. And I consider headlight modulators to be a real safety product. Uh, almost, I wouldn't say vital, but uh, I, have, I have seen situations when I'm riding and I had headlight modulators going through an intersection where they have really made a difference. And I can actually see drivers coming toward me that look like they're about to turn in front of me stop when they when I flip on the modulators so I'll talk more about that uh, when those come in and I get them installed and I'll do a couple of rides and I'll show you how I use the modulators which is different I'm sure than a lot of people do but you know Keyson makes modulators for almost every brand of motorcycle out there so we'll talk about that more in the coming days so I'm going to get ready to switch over to my cell phone video and we'll talk about the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. I'm leaving Cardo Systems offices here in Plano. It's about 12, 15 miles from my house. I met with Brian, who is kind of the chief uh, tech support guy here in Plano at Cardo. And we spent the last uh, 30 minutes sorting out my pack talk bold issues. Right. So essentially, if your unit's in standby mode, you're looking for the one flash. If it's got two flashes going, it's busy. Okay. Um, it's got their audio going. There's it's connected to a phone, and it's in use. Something else is going on. Um, so you do all three buttons five seconds I usually recommend I'm used to doing it now but I usually recommend people take it out of the cradle put it on a countertop because it makes it a little bit easier and I'm not gonna lie it kind of hurts the fingers okay. um, yep. so but as soon as you see solid purple you can release it'll do that five purple okay. five or not five three flashes of red and then power down and then just remember at that time everything's reset <clears throat> and basically what Brian did is did a complete reset on both the headsets, mine and Ricky's, and just kind of took it down to the studs and started uh, kind of repairing everything from the ground up. And everything seems to be working right now. I can get my audio from the Goldwing. I have intercom to the other headset. Everything appears to work as expected. There were some settings that needed to be changed. Uh, hang on a second, I gotta deal with this big ass boat. Not sure what's going on here. They probably have some lanes closed off if it's typical Dallas construction. Or he's just making a wide turn, okay. So anyway, there is a, an app that you can download for your cell phone, your uh, smartphone, called Cardo Connect. And uh, if you go into audio settings, you can pretty dramatically change the volume settings for all the different volume levels. 
and we checked mine and they were all set to about 50 percent so that could be part of the reason i wasn't getting enough volume out of the goldwing audio system now when you use the cardo connect app to connect to your your smartphone to your headset to change these settings you can also reset the name of the uh, headset and you can make other changes as well but if you if and when you do this you will need to repair the headset to the bike once you've used the cardo connect because when you connect the bluetooth on your cell phone to the cardo connect you're basically pairing the headset to your smartphone and it's going to blow out the pairing from your motorcycle so once you use Cardo Connect, uh, you will have to repair your headset to your bike. But we did all that. And uh, honestly, uh, even Brian, with all of his technical knowledge, it still took about 15, 20 minutes to get all this stuff done. And of course, he knows it inside and out. So he was able to just kind of zip through it. Whereas I always have to refer back to the documentation and the manual and everything else. But the good news is, after resetting both the headsets, starting over with all the pairings, I repaired my headset to the motorcycle. I repaired the headset to the GPS on the B channel. And uh, we've got the DMC intercom going for uh, between the two headsets and everything's working as expected when we tested it so that's very very good news i'm sure those of you that either have cardo or are interested in cardo would be glad to hear that there's also another setting uh, if you have an android phone and I can't remember what it's called, but I'll look in the Cardo app and tell you. And it's a setting that you should have turned on. This is the other setting down here, this audio mixing and Bluetooth. This is the one that Brian told me should be set on if you have an Android phone. On the uh, app, and I will tell you what it is. And if you're using an Android phone... Now, my Android phone is connected through my Zumo, through my GPS. I do not have the phone connected to my headset or to my bike. And that's because, as an Android phone user, the interface to the Goldwing is horrible. It's really not very good. But the interface from the uh, Zumo to the Android phone is excellent. So I just use the, uh, I have my phone paired to my Zumo 595 and it works great. I can receive calls while riding. I can make calls while riding. The audio quality is very good. And so I am a happy camper right now. I did also uh, mention to Brian one of my requests as a motovlogger those of you who are motovloggers will appreciate this one of my recommendations is that cardo add a micro sd slot to the pack talk bold so that conversations between headsets can be easily recorded onto a micro SD card. So basically, the headset would have recording ability built in. Now it'd be very easy to sync up the audio from a headset to a GoPro video just by using a hand clap or something else that you could hear in the audio and see on the video, which is how I do it now anyway. But imagine if you had just a micro SD card that could record the conversation. Anything coming through the speakers, anything coming through the microphone would be recorded onto that micro SD card. I just think it's a great idea. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something about the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. 
I still consider it to be the best uh, Bluetooth headset for the Goldwing at the moment. Now, some of you guys are Cena aficionados, and I have a set of Cena 20S, and they're very good headsets. I still like the Cena. I still think it has a lot of potential, but I prefer the Cardo. And I think I'll probably redo my video on pairing the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. So thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlog, and I will see you next time.